guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be sharing some very cute DIYs that you can do for the spring and summer time just to bring some cute elements into your room so the first DIY here is one of my favorites it's super easy all you need is a picture frame some fake eyelashes a pen of any sort and just a piece of paper and all I'm doing here is just writing today I feel dot 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 and then I'm adding on some of the cute lashes that I have these lashes I'm honestly never really going to use, so I thought they would be perfect for this DIY. And then I am just going to stick them on just to make them look like eyes. And honestly, that is it. It's a very simple DIY and I think it looks super cute. Once I have these lashes glued down onto the piece of paper, I'm then just writing some words on which these lashes might make me feel. I love this DIY because it is super easy to recreate and it's such a cute addition to add to your makeup vanity or any part of your room. I just absolutely love this DIY. It's definitely one of my favorites. Moving on to this next DIY, it is once again one of my favorites. I just love how it gives a summery vibe to your room. This DIY is also very affordable because everything I purchased was either from the dollar store or a craft store. Anyways, all this DIY basically is is just a glass vase and just adding some succulents and rocks in it. So it's super easy. So I just picked up some of these glass candle holders, I think. It's just like a candle little plate and it's glass. It's super cute and they're very cheap as well. And then I'm just gluing them all together, making them into a vase. And of course, it is into like a cube shape. And then once I have that all glued together, I will then begin to pour in some of the rocks and put in the succulents. The glass little plates or whatever you really want to call them, they're from the dollar store by the way. I just think they add such a glam feel to this DIY. Of course the succulents are fake because I'm not good at keeping plants alive. I just absolutely love how this DIY turned out and I definitely plan on making more. It's one of my favorite pieces in my room and I'm just so happy with how it turned out. Moving on to the next DIY, and you guys can obviously tell I'm obsessed with fake plants and creating really cute little faces and vases that they can sit in. And honestly, a lot of these items are quite expensive if you go out and buy them in a store. I've seen them at like starting price of like $19.99 in Canada and they go upwards. So I wanted to create some very cute ones that you can easily make that are very affordable. So I just got this little like fish bowl from the dollar store, filled it up with some metallic paint and it turned out amazing. Of course, I'm just sticking in some white rocks and the plant and I just absolutely love how this turned out. And again, if you bought this in the store, it would be quite expensive than making it yourself. So I absolutely love this. Plants are one of my favorite decor pieces to decorate with because I just love the element that it brings into the room, so I definitely will be recreating a lot more of these. Moving on to the final DIY. Now this DIY took so much time and I don't even want to begin on how much patience it took. It definitely will test your patience. So anyways, I just picked up this piece of wood I got at the dollar store again. You can get it at dollar store, craft store, and then I just printed out a stencil of a pineapple so it can just represent like spring and summertime. Of course, you will need some nails, some thread of whatever color you want to do. Of course, I'm getting a yellow and a green for a pineapple, but you can do anything you want for this nail art. Nail art is definitely one of my favorites, but it definitely tests your patience because it takes so much time, but the end result is super cute. Of course, the whole concept of nail art is to put nails around the design you want to create. Once you have that, then you can rip away your stencil, and then this is when you begin to get very tedious with the thread. Definitely recommend thicker thread if you don't want it to take that long. So all you're really doing here is just wrapping the thread around each nail a few times and then once you have it wrapped all the way around then you just keep like basically going in random directions. And then as you can see here I got to the point that I wanted to make the thread look a lot thicker. So I just went around each nail on an angle and just kept on going back and forth and back and forth. It definitely takes a long time. 
I definitely recommend to put on some of your favorite music so you can jam out a bit because this definitely does test your patience. I'm so glad I am finally finished this DIY, but I'm glad I did it as well because it is super cute and I just love how it turned out. So of course, once I finish threading the top of the pineapple, this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with it. As you can see, some of the nails chipped off a bit, so I just touched them up with some white paint. And I decided I wasn't super happy with the plain wood background, so I decided just to stain it a bit and see how that turned out. I definitely recommend to stain it before you do your nail art. But anyways, um, I just think it looks a lot better with a little bit of wood stain on the back, so it just makes your nail art pop a little bit more. So that's how it turned out. I'm super happy with it. It does take a very long time, so just keep that in mind. And I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up. I truly appreciate all your guys' support. It means so much to me. And we will see you guys next time. Alright, bye.